Queen can't stand Harry. Furious Queen crossed has off list of inheritance after he threatened royal. Prince Harry has been handed his biggest chance to tell his side of story with a memoir on being a royal. The Duke of Sussex signed a deal with Penguin Random House to publish his memoirs about life in the royal family in 2021. Harry previously said his memoir will be accurate and wholly truthful. Slated for a late 2022 release, Omid Scobie, royal expert and author of Finding Freedom, said Harry's memoirs means drama will always be lurking around the corner. He said, of course, whether you are a working member of the firm or not, drama will always be lurking around the corner for any royal, whose private lives are rarely that. His forthcoming memoir, which is now finished and has completed legal checks, will no doubt invite some of it in, even if, as sources have told me over the past year, it doesn't include those much reported attacks on his family. The book will be Harry's biggest chance to tell his side of the story, and paint a clearer picture of the man, husband, father and global citizen he is today. Writing for Yahoo! News, Mr. Scobie compared Harry to Princess Diana, saying, just like his late mother, he too has spent considerable lengths of his life misunderstood. Mr. Scobie previously insisted Harry's memoirs won't be a burn book and that Harry won't attack the royal family. However, ex-Vanity Fair editor Tina Brown told The Sun, Harry's not going to go after the Queen, she's sacrosanct. And he probably won't go after Kate, who he's very fond of. But he will go after Charles and Camilla and maybe William. In a statement about the upcoming memoir, the Duke said, I'm writing this not as the prince I was born but as the man, I have become. I've worn many hats over the years, both literally and figuratively, and my hope is that in telling my story, the highs and lows, the mistakes, the lessons learned, I can help show that no matter where we come from, we have more in common than we think. I'm deeply grateful for the opportunity to share what I've learned over the course of my life so far and excited for people to read a first-hand account of my life that's accurate and wholly truthful. Prince Harry has been accused of betraying the royal family ahead of Prince Philip's funeral last year, with a royal author claiming that the Duke of Sussex was aware of the damage he had done. The claim was made by royal author Tom Bower in his new bombshell book, Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors, in which he talked about Harry visiting the UK for the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral soon after putting the family on blast. As per an excerpt from Bower's book, during that short procession many watched whether Harry signalled any regret towards his family. Some interpreted his sideways glance towards William as the outsider's unease. No one grasped the truth about Harry's nervousness. In four weeks, his Apple TV series about mental health would be broadcast. Transmission had been delayed until after the funeral. Bauer continued, looking at his family standing in St. George's Chapel, Harry must have known that his damnation of them in the Apple TV series would widen the rift. Sitting alone and isolated, the 94-year-old monarch's grief was concealed behind a black mask. Everyone was moved by her dignity. William looked tense, Kate serene, Charles visibly anguished. Only Harry's expression defied accurate reporting. Bauer then said, flapping his order of service against his thighs as he left the chapel, he was clearly impatient. None knew that Harry, the once adored young prince, had betrayed his whole family.